Growing Big with Steve Bartilla. As deer hunters, we all want to build deer numbers. I mean, it's just a natural desire. And in a lot of cases, it makes a lot of sense. You know, in certain pockets of the whitetail range these days, the deer numbers are way lower than the habitat can support. But we also have to remember that too high deer numbers are not a good thing. If we get too high deer numbers, what ends up happening is that the habitat starts getting destroyed. All the prime browse that's growing out in the woods ends up being decimated because the deer numbers are just too high. Okay, so what problem does that cause? The first thing they do is they wipe out all the prime browse. A deer can eat four pound, it's gonna vary based on weight and maturity, but eats around an average of four pounds of food each and every day. So if you're trying to pack in 100, 150 deer per square mile, that, that takes a ridiculous amount of forage. Now, so what do they do? First, they wipe out your prime woody browse, the woody browse that they like the most. Then they end up decimating the secondary level of woody browse, the tertiary level of woody browse. By the time you're done, when deer numbers are ridiculously high for too long of a period of time, you don't even have starvation browse that's regenerating. While this is going on, the carrying capacity, the amount of deer the habitat can support is going down because they're destroying prime foods. Now what you can do to cheat the deer population higher, to be able to allow the land to support a higher number of deer, food plots, agricultural crops, and a serious, steady feeding program. Those things will jack the deer numbers higher. The catch is that you still have healthy deer, but your habitat is literally being destroyed. Good indicators of healthy deer numbers are fawn recruitment rates. What that means is how many fawns successfully make their first fall. How many survive to that? If your does are producing an average, you look at all the does across the habitat, if they're producing an average of 1.5 fawns per doe in Midwest egg country, we're doing good. You know, above that, we're doing excellent. Below that, eh, you're starting to get into an area of concern. You get below one fawn per doe, now you've got trouble. You know, that's starting to indicate in that Midwest farm belt that you have very unhealthy deer. Go to big wood settings, and because they don't have that surplus of agricultural nutrition, you're looking at about one fawn per doe. You know, that number drops, but that's okay. That's healthy for a big woods habitat. You go further north where you have nasty winters and even 0.8 fawns per doe is healthy. But you get below those numbers and it indicates a problem. So there's two ways of looking at carrying capacity. There's carrying capacity that the natural habitat provides, the woody browse, the weeds, the grasses, and there's carrying capacity that's inflated from farm crops, food plots, or feeding. The risk of inflating those carrying capacities, inflating those deer numbers, is that you get a drought, crop failure, any type of crop failure whatsoever, and that is going to literally decimate that deer population. And when it is above the carrying capacity that the habitat can naturally support. Okay. Um, the other thing that you're risking is disease. You want to find that sweet spot. The best way for me to find that sweet spot is to inspect the habitat. I want a habitat that has a bunch of natural woody browse occurring, hinge cutting, logging can also jack that, that browse production rate right through the roof. Okay, then in spring, I'm gonna get out there and I'm gonna keep it simple stupid. I'm gonna let the deer tell me what their preferred browse is just simply by looking around and seeing what they're eating. Of that preferred browse, if there is 25% or less of it that they can easily reach, you know what, I got too many deer, I gotta kill some bunch of does and increase the food production at the same time. If you're in that 25 to 50% range of premium browse that the deer tell you they like still available come spring, that's, that's your sweet spot. You wanna harvest just enough does to keep that number steady. If you're above 50%, still available above 50% prime browse, you know what? Lay off the does, your habitat can handle more. 
Grow em Big is brought to you by Wildlife Research Center, the gold standard. Reconyx, see what you've been missing. Antler King, bigger bucks, healthier deer. The Heater Body Suit, you stay warm or your money back. Furminator, the best food plot implement on earth. Bush Hog, performance you can count on. Redneck Blinds, the best hunting blinds on the planet. Chestnut Hill Nursery and Orchards. And foodplotsfordeer.com, planning your habitat improvements and improving your hunting. Remember, you want to match the carrying capacity of the habitat to your deer numbers. If you ever want any ammunition to use against the anti-hunting crowd, whitetail populations left unchecked destroy the habitat. When they destroy the habitat, you know what? Massive death, starvation, and suffering is soon to follow. Growing Big with Steve Bartilla.